What's up, guys? So we got this cabbage bolt. We just finished the night levels, and now, oh, what the frick is going on? It's the roof. Oh my gosh, is this the beginning of the end? Yeah, this, this is world five. Of what? Of, of five. <gasps> So the pea shooters can't shoot. Uh, you can't look at the map, but let's tough it out one episode. <laughs> we actually can get the grounded achievement, although I already have it, so it doesn't matter. But I mean, you know what that means? We could do <laughs> start Undertale next session. <laughs> the grounded achievement when Spencer exists incorrectly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I mean, some of it seems like it's his fault. Some of it definitely is not his fault. I can't tell anymore because everything has a slant. It's oh, like we can't talk about this on the series. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, conversation topic change. <laughs> yeah. So who's that guy dangling up there? Bungie. We don't know yet, uh -oh. but he steals your plants. Basically, he, he yanks your your chain. Stealing, stealing. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have flower pots yet. Frick. <gasps> Frick. Hmm. Well, this seems like a dilemma. Well, okay, so it's like... I, I see what's happening The here. next plant you get is the flower pot, which allows you to, like, plant more of these. That's the only way you can plant on the roof. Weed. Get it, guys? Because of <laughs> marriage, I wanna. <laughs> what are we even talking about? I don't know. Uh... Oh, I need, I need to talk about the bells. Yeah. Okay, guys. This so, is a uh, continuation of last time. It's neighborhood fun part two, or whatever mm, we're calling it. Old, what's our development even called? Rock? Or no, we're not in Rockford. We're in uh, Walnut Creek Estates. Yeah, freaking well, Walnut Creek Estates. Um. <laughs> so we had these lovely neighbors um, called the Bells. Is that what the Bell Ends? Um. They were the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, as in they let their children run around in the nude outside of their house. <laughs> what? Um, so you'd like walk outside and let your dog out, and then, oh, what's that four year old bell kid? Uh, decided not to put on clothes today. Ah, yes. Uh, very nice. Interesting. Very nice. <laughs> Have you ever seen the metal? Uh, no. There's wait, a... wait, is that the one with, uh,. I, I think I have, it's because the, my grandma just has the TV on at her house all the time. It's the show about the stereotypical Midwest family. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it, there's a, um, we used to watch that. It, it's a funny show. It's not show, bad, but... yeah. It's better than to Big Bang Theory. How did a moth get down here? It's moth right? It's frick. <laughs> What's um, but, there's like a fan, or a, um family on that show that's literally just the bells where it's like the kids do whatever the heck they want and if you confront the parents then they get mad and say like oh why are you criticizing my angels but basically oh it wasn't even like that it was like their house was a wreck oh, um, yeah, different one was their like, their lawn was that. awful um oh feeling feeling you are so mine. basically <laughs> whenever someone came to our house while we were showing it to sell you take one glance at our um, the property beside us and then say, "Yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief," <laughs> which is why it took so freaking long for our house to sell. So we didn't, you know, if it had sold earlier, we might have gotten better house. Sell. You selling? Let me <laughs> say selling, please. I think it's I'm tired. Sold. Selling. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really have anything else to say about them. Okay. It take too long. You had stories. Do you have any other ones? Because <sighs> I don't have anything. My life is boring. Uh, one time we were in Spanish. Wow. And she's like, <laughs> "All right, whoever, whatever table finishes this first gets extra credit." Cause she like hands out like the one point of extra credit for like basically nothing, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, so we were, I was at the fourth table, because I wasn't doing too good, like, at the beginning of this year, because we turned in one paper and I got a 50 on it. Oh. Because it was, like, listening, oh, and if you didn't get the listening within the two times of you listening to it, you basically just had to guess, and I had no yeah. idea what we were doing. So I just kind of failed it. But it was homework, so it didn't matter. <laughs> so we were there at the, the lesser table, as our classmates would refer to it as. And we, like, booked through this thing that we're doing, and by some miraculous divine instinct, uh, we get done, like, five minutes before everyone else. 
And like when we when she like checks our answers and we got them all right, like have you seen an Alpharaz pop off? Uh, whatever. Yeah, which one? Uh, whatever. He like beat someone with like Ness or something. Uh, I don't think I really have. I don't watch okay. Alpha. No, it it was just like a notable Smash event. Anyway, um, take that, multiply it by ten, and that's how hard we popped off. <laughs> we were so proud of ourselves. It was like the most accomplished I felt in a while. When the aunties um, moves get together to accomplish something great. But now I'm at the first table somehow. I don't really know what I'm doing in Spanish. <laughs> Apparently I'm doing something good. But oh, that reminds me. In ELA, uh, we have one of the worst teachers ever. Because uh, she doesn't really do her job that series. often. Then again, most most ELA teachers. Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, freaking, uh, <laughs> why do you need sunflower to place a pot? That's it. That sense. They, 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 the pot is a plant. Oh, okay. Like, I don't understand it, but, like, it has a face. Like, look at this little... Oh, yeah. Here. But anyway, um, this ELA teacher, for some, for some odd reason, thinks that I am one of the smartest people ever <laughs> to grace the planet wow. of the Earth. And, um, so anytime... We're like talking about like Shakespeare or like some proverbs or something. She's like, Aiden, you know about this, right? <laughs> or like, Aiden, what's what's the definition for so and so? And somehow, by some way, I know the exact answer every time. So it just keeps gradually going up. Well, maybe and maybe now my classmates smart. hate me in that class because she thinks that I'm basically the second coming of Christ. I'm like, guys. Is it my fault that I used to read as a kid and that I don't have time now to read? Wow, look at, look at Jimmy Yu trying over here, answering questions in class. <laughs> like, imagine <laughs> actually trying in school, like, what is that? Like, I don't, I don't even know how I do it, I'm my... not trying. Her class is the one that I put the least effort into. Why do you like me so much? My she high came, school years she, she came to me, um, like, right when I got back from my vacation, and was like, Hey, we really missed you while you were out. Was like, yeah. thanks for screwing me on. <laughs> um, so freaking, uh, I, I had something in mind that I was gonna say next, but now I don't, I don't remember what it is. Hmm. Oh so All right. Um. So in in the response to you saying like, oh wow, it's um, high school, like why try in high school? So my high school, my senior year, I don't think I've ever talked about this. Uh, my junior year was the craziest year of my life because I was taking eight essentially college level classes. Um, it was brutal. But my senior year, I apparently took way too much my junior year because I had nothing to do. <laughs> I took all the credits I needed to like graduate except for like one math credit and <laughs> like kind of an English credit almost. Wow. So I freaking said, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take all the easiest classes and make this a fun year. <laughs> um, so I had three study halls, um, two of which were in the very beginning of the day, so I walked in and slept for the entire day. Oh, the... you had to go in during study halls? Um, hey, it was a weird policy. If, since... if you had two periods right next to each other of study halls, you're legally allowed to just leave. Well... If you're a junior or a senior. They they apparently actually had a law that says you, you can't because I brought that complaint to them at one point and they <laughs> said that well actually it's this is only in special conditions but I was also allowed to leave early during the day which oh. is much better than coming in late in my opinion yeah um well it depends I, I'd rather um, sleep in I kind of would too but I already slept in study hall too like oh yeah. Yeah. The school provided breakfast for free, so I literally, like, I went wait. and got breakfast at the cafeteria, and the study hall teacher pretended to give a bunch of craps, and then you talked to her, and okay, her, her main policies were like, you need to be working on stuff during my study hall, you're not allowed to sleep, sit quietly. Uh, that was the same year that someone shotgunned an orange juice in class. <laughs> I don't know, like, what she was doing, but she just didn't care at all. Our our uh, study halls have greatly um, keened up on a uh, enforcing rules. Like you're not allowed to do anything now. We can't even freaking listen to music while we're studying. <laughs> so basically, if we can't study, <laughs> because everyone's really loud during study hall. So good thing we we're on. We actually figured out student council now. So I don't think that'll change anything. Student council well, it, scam. It's a um, high school. Our high school actually has power. For student council, surprisingly. Uh, middle school has no power, but they think they do. 
But we can actually change stuff. So basically what our history teacher said was the rule was basically asking to be changed. You just have to do something about it. And that guy's gonna get sniped. Um uh, does this guy get killed? Oh no, he doesn't. Anyway. Um so all we have to do is write up something about it. Um it's pretty easy. If we can't find a way to get phones during study halls, or at least just listening to music during study halls, I'll be greatly surprised um, at just how dumb New Hope is getting. Because honestly, I don't want to go to school at New Hope. <laughs> I, I don't, but there's no other good options. Circleville like, is not terrible, surprisingly, and it's know. cheaper. Well, yes, going from not paying, going from um, the entire paycheck to a... Uh, Oh, cool! It's public education. Uh, it's, it's greatly improved in pricing, typically. But uh, I don't know. My my parents wouldn't go for it. They're like, we worked hard to get you a good Christian education. You're right, going to a Christian school. AFK now. But yeah, it's like okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, I know my like. Yeah, so my first, this, for the first semester of my um, high school, or for my senior year, it was like two study halls in a row, and then I had a class that was called, like, I'm not, I don't need it, this will, this I defense want it. will clear everything, frick you. I want it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Dalton. Things are happening, why'd you click on there? You moved my mouse before I quit it. Oh. But, um... I see, yeah, I had, like, it was called, like, Life After Senior Year, or some bullcrap like that. It was basically teaching you not to not party. I learned what the lines on the solo cups mean on that class. <laughs> I'm um, not knowing that. <laughs> well, I mean... I, why, why would I know that? I'm not, like, a party animal over here. <laughs> Red solo cup. I'll fill you up. Let's have a party. But, anyway, it was like, I did basically nothing. We watched Pets during that class. Like, we literally just watched a movie for no... Wow. We claimed that it had to relate to the class somehow, and we wrote, like, a one, literally one paragraph essay on the movie that took, like, three classes to watch, <laughs> and said that, you know what, that's good enough education. Wow. But... It was, that class was a meme. Then I got to take another class my second semester called was like music theory or something. It sounded hard, it, like Bach to rock. You did nothing. He gave us all of the assignments for the week on Monday. I got all of the assignments for the week done on Monday. So I, I it was literally just a third study hall for me. Mm -hmm. um, then I actually had English, which was kind of challenging. It was a college class. And then I had... Robotics, which was basically another study hall. <laughs> wow. For half the year. Our, our robotics teacher I was, well, he wasn't, but his wife was pregnant, so he took... <laughs> our robotics teacher was actually pregnant, too. He took a leave or something for that, and, um... I don't know. I... Apparently, uh, it is the baby season at work, because extra scroll friend is about to have her baby, and one of... One of the girls in general is just pregnant. Um, <laughs> okay. She was like, oh, okay. She's like, uh, Nikki was like, don't mind her, it's just a hormone from being pregnant. So I was like, is she like 17? <laughs> it's like, uh, but you want, you want a long way to ruin your life? You're back to what I was saying. <laughs> What you were saying wasn't interesting. I was all, getting to the interesting part. Since our robotics teacher was out most of the time, the substitute had no idea what we were supposed to be doing. Junior year robotics, we went to the national robotics competition. We did well. Senior year, we had no idea what to freaking do. So we got we watched robot related movies. So literally anything. Did you watch robots the movie? We watched iRobot. That was That's a stupid cool movie. Same. We watched the Millennial Man or the Centennial Man or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, the, the, the aluminum man. Yeah, basically. The tin man. The most robotic related thing we figured out how to do was hack Minecraft onto the school computers and play it, and it was fun. Nice. Um, I need to figure out how to do that on our school laptop. Let's see, but yeah, so and then I had AP Calculus, which was the least fun class of that year, and then I had <laughs> something after that, probably, and then I just left for the day. <laughs> Honestly, though, I'd rather do a, like... 
calculus and having to do like another. Um... No, you don't. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather just doing another science because of our science teacher. Calculus is a stupid subject. I mean, it's it's higher math unless you're actually going into a field that you would need to use that, which is rare. No, it's, it's not kind of rare. It's, it's anything STEM, basically. Yeah. Oh my god. Calculus is you, it's one of the most patient classes. It's like you have like three problems for homework, and then they're all really long. And just, if you don't have a good grasp on like the concepts and like conceptual math, you're not gonna pass. Uh, luckily, I have my good friend Slater. <laughs> yeah, I have my good friend who will do all the homework and tests for me. I mean, Desmos is a life send this year, though, because it, it's helped me understand a lot of what we're doing. Freaking oh, uh, yeah, you, I forgot Desmos is like a thing. I can't use Photomath anymore because we can't use our phones, so we had to resort to using Desmos. <laughs> which is a little bit better, but in the same way, the calculator's surprisingly not as advanced somehow. But, fun fact, the Desmos calculator is actually the same calculator used on the, uh, state math tests. Hmm. Yeah. So it has, like, I don't think it has the graphing, though. I was it gonna might. say, the graphing is really nice. Use Wolfram Alpha. I, I, I cheese my entire, like, college calculus class with that. <laughs> Seriously, you, you can literally just type in, like, any equation that you want. Hmm. I'll have to look into it. Because honestly, Algebra 2 is a lot easier than Geometry was for me, yeah. but I still don't want to work because I'm lazy and I don't have time. I feel that. <laughs> um, but I just want to get through the school year. But luckily, we're already halfway through the first nine weeks, so. <laughs> I get a hey. Yeah. Dang. Ho. Oh. I, I do get to flex on you guys a little bit. I know it's like different for college, but my breaks are so freaking long. I get like an entire Shut week up, and a half for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Imagine getting breaks. Like, what is that? I only get two days for Pumpkin Show instead of three, but I, what when days? I, uh, Thursday and Friday. Okay. I don't get Wednesday. Well, well, could skip Wednesday, but I don't want to. <laughs> Come test. around and walk around with us when you don't have to wear the Yoshi costume. <laughs> I'm gonna dread that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer zombie. I forgot we made. Every time he appears on the screen, it just brings me joy. <laughs> me, anytime I see you in the Yoshi costume. <laughs> I'm going to strangle you. Why? Why do I have to do this? Why did I agree to a speedrun contest and then give you leeway? <laughs> I would have won if I, I was would've... very surprised on why you were giving me leeway. I, I should have just given you the middle finger, said, oh, can't catch up. That's too bad. <laughs> it's like, oh, we literally went faster than Tass. Too bad. <laughs> Hate to see it happen. Uh, yeah, well, it's like. I, I wasn't quite faster than Tass, especially on your new, like, run. I, there on my just... new run, there was no way that I would have beaten, gotten close to Tass. My best time. <sighs> no, 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 I'm not talking about Tass. I'm saying, like, you would have been within a few minutes. I think if you would have really done a good run, um, then you would have been Not with skipping the boss. How long does the boss take? How long would that would have like... added? 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, dang. Okay, yeah, yeah. so... Well, even still, you, you pulled a 112. You could have done a 122. Yeah. And then you said that you could save time, like, some there is. Honestly, I, I probably could have gotten a 110 if I was really trying. But I just... I don't know. I don't work that well under pressure when it comes to, like, maneuverability. When I have to, like, talk under pressure, I'm pretty good at that. But, like... Not, You're not uh, a gamer. Yeah. Gaming under pressure is a little more difficult. Yeah, well, only if you're a loser. Okay, shut up. <laughs> mm. So who's that guy with the ladder? He's the ladder zombie, the dad zombie. The zombie. He builds a ladder, so if I have like a uh, walnut, he will uh, try to chew through it, he will put a ladder, and then anyone can go over the ladder and the Ooh. nut doesn't exist. I don't like that. Let's just remove all of the sunflowers. We don't need these anymore. <laughs> wow. And we can cheese everything out with kernel poles. I didn't even bring a squash. What am I doing? Just put like a bunch of walnuts in front. Could do that, but. Eh. Oh, the kernel poles too. The the corn cobs. 
Um, they have the butter. Yeah, so oh, they what they do is they're they're kind of gimmicky. I don't really like them, but they're also really fun to use sometimes. Um, they either throw a kernel, which does half the damage of a cabbage, or they throw a piece of butter, which does double the damage of the cabbage and stuns the enemy. Also, so, it's a hero. <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get. We're just going to... We did coffee it. bean. All right, I think that's episode. That probably is. So the coffee bean, you get to see what it does actually right now because I'm not gonna end it because I'm lazy. So this is this is what allows us to use mushrooms during the day. Oh, nice. So fun stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time where All we right. beat the game. Bye. Bye.